Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Spin Me Round, starring Allison Brie and Aubrey Plaza, about a, I guess it's really about Olive Garden and some managers going on a trip to Italy and then horrible things happen. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books one through nine. Available at Amazon.com. Now, oh, I'm going to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Ah. So Alison Brie wins this trip to Italy, this corporate trip, where she's going for training and whatnot. And uh, she's really excited, and she's like a dopey American who's never been to Italy before. Aubrey Plaza plays the, uh, I guess, the assistant of the CEO. And Molly Shannon is, I don't know. I don't know what her deal is. But um, Aubrey is like the the assistant that sets up the girls so the CEO, I think, can bang them. And then uh, something weird happens. Either he, either the CEO kills somebody. That's Fred Armisen. CEO kills somebody or kidnaps somebody and... Aubrey, maybe kills Aubrey, because Aubrey is an and, an and in this, with meaning that she's not in the whole movie. Allison, this seems to be all centered around Allison. So, and uh, what's his face? I can't think of his name. From The Office. So there's a lot, of, a lot of really good funny people in this, and it looks funny. It looks like mildly funny, not like laugh out loud funny, but pretty funny. Allison Brie, you got Molly Shannon, Tim Heidecker, meh. Tim and Eric, you know, those guys. And then uh, Fred Armisen with Little Ray and Aub Aubrey Plaza. So Aubrey's a with. So I'm not sure what happens. They don't really tell you. But uh, it's co-written by Allison Brie and the director, Jeff Baina. So this is an IFC film. So it's, it's meant to be a small, little film. Um... And um, I think it looks good. I mean, it definitely has a great cast. It's not a bad premise, you know. I think the trailer doesn't really... It hints at what might be, but it doesn't really tell you what the hell it's about, you know. I love Aubrey. Ah, can't get enough of her. I could watch her all day long. And Allison, really. Beautiful women. And talented. I mean, Allison's... I like Allison's uh, take in this one. She's not playing... She's playing something closer to her community character, but not quite that bold, you know? And then not like her um, character from uh, the What's the Name show. You know, the one with uh, John Hamm, whatever it was called. Mad Men. So, uh, she's got a pretty different character for her. Aubrey, Aubrey, she plays similar roles, I think, but she's very good at them, where... Allison, I think, is, is stretching a little bit more, maybe. You know, Aubrey seems, keeps, seems to keep playing variations of her character from Parks and Rec to some extent. You know, even in Emily the Criminal, looks just like a mean version <laughs> of her. Um, but she is really good and comedically, and so is Allison. So I think these two are... Uh, it'd be great to see a team up, like a, like a female buddy movie with those two. I mean, if they were going to re remake, like... I don't know, Thelma and Louise, and they wanted to make it funny, I would I would definitely cast those two in the leads. Um, but um, would I see this? Maybe. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, Fred Armisen's okay. I can sort of take or leave him. Sometimes he's very funny, but Molly Shannon, same thing. I mean, they're funny, but, you know, I don't know, not super funny. Gabe from The Office, he's funny. I think he's very funny. So, um, I think you got a solid cast here. Looks, everything looks to be solid. It's a small movie, but Allison looks like she dropped a little weight here too, doesn't it? She looks, uh, looks like she's thinner. Last time I've seen her. Um, so, I mean, this all looks good. Um, IFC. So, it's being presented in a way that it's not, Ha, 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 laugh out loud comedy. It's going to be sort of an art house movie comedy, if you know what I mean. It'll be amusing, but it's not going to be like off the rails funny. It's not going to be that big. It's going to be like, you know, office-y type humor, I think. Um, 
So yeah, I would totally see this. Spin me round. Uh, do we have a date on it? No, I don't think we do. No date, so coming soon. If it's IFC, maybe it goes right to IFC. Possibly a limited release in art house movie theaters. First act, you've got Allison here. She's a manager of an Olive Garden or something where they microwave all the food. <laughs> so right there, you got a pr probably a funny send up of Olive Garden. Then she wins this contest. She ends up in Italy with Molly Shannon. And she's so excited, but really it's just a corporate retreat. It just happens to be in Italy because of their brand. And uh, second act, she meets the CEO. And uh, Aubrey Plowser wakes her up one morning and says, oh, come with me. The CEO wants to you know, have a special meeting with you. And she ends up going on his boat and being seduced by him. And they have sex. And it's, oh, she thinks it's great. Uh, he buys her a dress, you know. And... Uh, she doesn't know what's happening. She goes to a fabulous party. She kisses this woman very intimately for some reason. And uh, she says, you're a very open person. And she says, uh, why does everybody keep saying that? Uh, which is funny. It's like she's being pulled along on something, but you're not quite sure what. Molly Shannon being a typical American tourist and Aubrey. Uh, Aubrey speaking Italian. Oh, she's so hot. Um so then something happens. Either somebody's murdered or they suspect he's up to no good. And then her and some of the corporate guys she's friends with end up going to look. And here, I don't know, something happens. Maybe somebody dies and they're hiding under the bed. Um, and at one point they're being chased. Um, and then the, the, the place, the, the retreat starts to break down and Gab, uh, Gabe complains and then Sometime in the third act, things get real, and then, I don't know, they end up running away. There ends up to be a bit of a chase, I, I'm, I'm sensing, and then some sort of resolution, probably that, you know, I don't know, he falls off a cliff, something stupid, like a comedy-type resolution, like the CEO wasn't actually kidnapping people. I think he probably was doing something nefarious. Maybe they accidentally expose it, and he ends up, being arrested and they go back to America and they lose their jobs or something like that. Um, you know, it's a comedy, so it's not necessarily beholden on the movie makers to have a happy ending where everything works out. You really want a funny ending where it's like, oh God, you know, like maybe the entire time she, she built up in her own mind that this guy was uh, some sort of crazy psychopath and it turns out he had perfectly good explanations for everything, and she just built it up in her own mind and ruined her own thing or something like that. Um, I don't know, but I would say it. I would say it. So, uh, Spin Me Round. I'm not sure about that title, though, uh, other than it's um, it's a song. Spin You spin me right round, baby, right round. That song. Uh, not sure why they would call it that, so, but Alison Brie is probably at the right age where she would have heard that song as a kid and really liked it and has good memories of it and just, just decided to pick a song title because that's a thing people do in movies. You know, you could have called, I mean, in a comedy, it almost kind of doesn't matter what you call it. You don't want to have any titles that are too on the nose because you don't want to give away any jokes. Like, you don't want to call it the the famous murder in Italy because now you're giving away part of the plot and you want that to be a surprise and everything about comedy is surprise. So, spin me round. Yeah, it's like, eh. I don't think it really fits. Like, I mean, you could have just called it uh, the name of the restaurant, which is like Tuscan Grove. The Tuscan Grove. Because that would be kind of funny. But anyhow, uh, that's it for me. Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. We got a news blast and a Hollywood hot take today. And that's it for us. We're going to do one more video, and we'll see you on the next one.